So I'm looking for a mod in NR2003 that includes drivers William Clyde, King Louis Hamilton, Fettuccine Alfredo, and Jibai all racing in 1950s NASCAR cars. Is there a mod like that that exists? As a matter of fact, a mod like that does exist. Made by Rolo75, the 2024 NASCAR mod for the GN55 mod on NR2003. I know that's a lot of numbers right there I'm throwing at you. Does exist, and we are racing it today. What's happening, everybody? I am Mike Gumroots, and welcome back to NR2003. What a mod I have to showcase to all of you guys today. There is a lot to get through, so I'm not gonna waste any time here. As you can see, we have the one car of the Mad Melon. Then you go off to Spindrick in the number two discount tire and the Rhinestone Cowboy in the three. Jesus Christ, these are absolutely fantastic. The four, the five, then you got, wait a minute. Red rim, oh, I see them red rims. Those are beautiful. Orange rims on the seven of Almond Joy. You got Bushy Bushy 3G. Were they smoking that back? Then. William Clyde, of course, we already saw him. That fan Fantic. I don't know what Fantic is, but great car. Hamster with the gradient purple to orange, and there's a little bit of yellow mixed in there. Then you go down to blanket and the neon. Is that a chartreuse? 14 car of Brisk Ice Tea, Kaz Gorilla in the number 15. He got Dingle Dingle in the 16, followed up by the third Bushy Brother in the 17. T-Rex, who can't restart a race to save his life. They got Taco Bell in the joint. It looks like a fucking taxi cab. Okay, finally, the 21, them sticking onto this paint scheme. It really pays off. Giggles Logano doing his best ketchup and mustard impression. Hubby Bubby Wallace. You, wait, 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 wait a minute. McDonald's was just getting their legs up underneath them. I don't think they have the money to be sponsoring race cars yet. Free Willy, most recent winner. He go on to hemorrhoids. Circle. Fruit water. I guarantee you, back in 1955, ain't nobody thinking about drinking no fruit water. Scott McLaughlin said to hell with IndyCar, I'm coming to NASCAR. Bloody Costecki in the 33, followed up by Michael McDonald's in the 34. Toddler driving a Ford, as is Reese's Priestess. Then he got John Hunter Nematode in the Dollar Tree. Toyota 42. Oh, oh man, that's a throwback. And uh, yeah, King Louie. Formula One, it existed at this time, but he, he also said he passed up on that opportunity. He's coming and racing on ovals. Little Red Money Lion, Outback Stenhouse Jr., Cheese It's, Noss, and Cottonelle, Irish Spring. There is a lot going on here. Lil Bow Wow in the 48, JJ Healy in the 51, Gibby. I'm almost 100% sure that Gibby hasn't been born yet. The Fettuccines, Alfreds, Curious George, F1 drivers, a whole flock of them. Coming on over to NASCAR. Kimmy, 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 Kobayashi. I know how to say his last name. Zigzag 71, Pimp Daddy Carson 77, Billy Jean in the 78. You got Jimmy in the 84. Come on, that looks like a little. I don't know, Wendy looking kind of anime here. Holy shit! I love. I love the black and the yellow and the red ball on the side. That is an awesome paint right there. Cap it off with Nintendo DS. Rolo 75, I mean, fantastic work. Cannot wait to hit the track with Jibba here. That's who we're gonna be racing as. At some new tracks that I've never driven on. Maybe some old ones too. Kyleson Super Speedway. It's kind of a different take on Texas Motor Speedway. And since they're racing there this weekend, I figured why not start there. Let's get this video started. I want to see these cars out on track. Let's go, video sale. Let's go. We're starting out back because you know Jabai. He not he's not that good now. He's no longer Jabai. That's when he still drove a Chevy. Now he's Toyota Jim. That's his new persona. Oh, they, oh. Okay, it didn't really want to turn, but there's plenty of speed here for sure. We're only doing nine laps. We're doing some short sprints because I got a bunch of different tracks I want to check out. Oh, the wrecking! We got a first. Oh shit! No! Jemai, there ain't no fucking way he's surviving that going upside down. All right, so we're already dead. Maybe I shouldn't have put it at maximum damage? Was that a bad idea? We're going down on the apron work? I thought we were making it four freaking wide. This thing pushes. It's absolute ass off. I don't know if it's the car or the track. Could also be the setup, like I don't have the right setup underneath it. I have no idea, I've never driven the damn thing before. Absolutely love these cars. They are so good looking. Like it's goofy, 
I think it's meant to be goofy and funny, but in an unironic way, the cars look fantastic. We're going somewhere now, man. I have no idea because I turned off all the info. What spot we're running in? Oh, oh, oh these cars don't side trap. Oh my God, they are going so damn slow. I can't believe there hasn't been another accident because we're racing close together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm gonna say I'm a 10. These things are still pretty speedy. I topped out at 172 going off into that corner. Kinda was anticipating them to be, I guess, sort of slow. Damn, it pushes something awful. I wasn't there back in the 50s. Were they actually pulling a buck 70? We're still making our way forward. Seventh spot, only six more to go. We could get these next three. They're not gonna be the issue. It's the top three that you see that gap. It's gonna be hard to close that. Ooh! That's what the hell they think about fruity water in 1955. And there go three friggin' positions because to hell with fruity water. Oh, I fucked him up. A fourth is gonna be it for it. We're not driving all the way to hell up there on this final lap. No, no, yield, yield. We gotta hang on. Get to the line. Just get to the line. I'll take a fourth solid start. Transport your back self to 1955 NASCAR. What type of track are they racing on in your mind? Is it a big old beefy speedway? Or is it a little tiny little shit of a track like this one? We are racing in a mall parking lot. Maybe the setting isn't exactly correct, but I believe in the 50s, they were racing more on tracks like this and not super speedways like Texas. There's only room for about 15. Oh, shit! He wanted to make a pit stop, but he didn't warn the other drivers. Get this goddamn circle jerk out of the way. Time to move. It's time to go. Beat it, bang, and that's what NASCAR is built on. Big time slowness. That's what I think of when I think 1950s NASCAR. And you know what the sad thing is? Nowadays, they're sucking the horsepower out. They're headed back towards the 1950s. What happened to the innovation? Billy Jean wants some over here. He wants to fight. I'll send him into the damn Pepsi machine. Where in the fuck are you going? You made me drive into the fucking bus stop, you shithead! And that's the front of my car. It killed my car! In some weird way, it feels almost more realistic making a pit stop out in the parking lot. It's over, we can't fix that damage. 33, you're a marked man. Imagine you're driving these little pipsqueak tracks for years in NASCAR. You're racing on a literal beach where you could flip your shit into the ocean. And then they built this place. And the banking is taller than the trailer you live in. Michael, the first thing to 500 wasn't until 1959. Shut the fuck up. You want to come out on the track and you want to screw with me, buddy? <laughs> Oh, we got that good, good run. We got the suck. We're going up the middle with Jemai. Three wide for the lead up there. We got ourselves. This is going to be a race. As long as I don't wad it up, eat shit, and well die. Because this car has no safety precautions built into it. We're going to have a race. Hey, taxi cab confessions. How the hell are you? Everyone should yield for Jemai. He's the greatest, you know. My fucking... My own little spawn of Satan in the eight, not 82, 80. I'm the 80, 42. Can't imagine that we took a whole hell of a lot of damage. We only sideswiped some people. It's just a lot of time has been lost. I just realized I have on adaptive strength, adaptive speed control, so they will come back to me here. There's still a lot of speed in the car. It's not damage. It was just us lacking the slipstream. We're gonna be able to make a run at it. Now that speed advantage is starting to creep away. We're almost to the top 10. It's gonna start to equalize, and we're gonna have to battle hard to find that lead. I like how bulky the front end of these cars are. I typically can't bump draft playing NR 2003, but it's so like flat and big that I can give them a shot and they can hang on to it. I got another teammate up here. Whoa! the 43. I secretly have always liked you a hell of a lot more than the other one. We got that good, good speed built up. We're up to full song. We're pulling 184 miles an hour. It's still tight though. I will be absolutely damned if the three car wins one of these races. He doesn't win races anymore. Now, you know what? I should say this. He doesn't back his ass into race wins anymore. He ain't about to pull another one off on my watch. Oh. 
Oh! It's so tight into one. Oh, come on! So freaking tight into one. Down into three, it's not the same thing. Or we're gonna get a run. I gotta take it. We're running out of time. We're coming to the white flag. 34, if you could get underneath them, get you guys to battling, and then maybe I can pull something off. William, go, William Clyde, I don't need this shit right now. I'm trying to figure out what to do in front of me. White flag up in the air. Bitch, bitch. He cut me off! He cut me off! That might have just put up enough distance where we're not gonna be able to... We're not gonna be able to challenge. I was just trying to manage turn one and the tightness with it. That fucking three car is a... We're getting a run. He's slow. Go up the middle. Go up the middle! Shoot the gap! Come on! Come on! Hang on! I cannot believe it! Hey, that 45 to Toyota! He helped out Toyota Jeff! We are winners, baby! I wanna wreck. I wanna see a big one. Come on. Big accident. Wreck him! Wreck him hard! This is what everybody camps to see! Get in that traffic. A tiny hit like that? Today, you wouldn't even flinch at it. Somebody just cracked three vertebrae. You alright? No! Three vertebra! I like how the driver model for all of these cars is this old, coagulated, old, leathery-skinned race car driver guy. The only one that that really works for is Jobai because he's gotten pretty old now. We gotta hit up a dirt track! They'd race on the dirt all the time back then! I'd be all for dirt track racing in Cup, but just don't do it on the one track that provides the greatest racing of them all? Like, if you want to go and save Richmond, dump a bunch of truckloads of dirt on that place. Or, now I'm just spitballing here, go back to Eldora, run that bottom line, and cruise underneath every single last stick in one of them. That's where the grip is. The only thing I believe the characteristic that this car has, compared to some of the other ones that I've driven, is how tight it is on entry. Running down here around the bottom is helping me out a ton with cornering, but everywhere else we've been, it just, it plows. Time to move now. Sonny, you know, people called each other Sonny back in the day. That and whippersnapper. After this race is over, I'm gonna take my honey bunny to the sock hop. People talk like this in the 50s. Oh, you see who's in second? You see who's in second right now? Spoiled our day in the mall parking lot. You are, I, like, just like I said about your teammate. You ain't winning either. I hope I zoomed in on that. That 33, man, and with like no cushioning or any of that, he's probably gonna be drooling all over himself after the race. White flag in the air, we got one friggin' lap. Oh, oh. Send it, send it deep. Back straight, car outside. I got loose, I got friggin' loose. I'm gonna have to do it again. I'm gonna have to do like the same exact thing if I wanna. Ah! Hold him up, hold him up. We got back to back jobs. Honey, buddy, we're going to the sock up. Get your socks on. New track, Colorado Retro. This place actually looks pretty freaking awesome. All this banking, it's like a super banked Richmond. Oh shit, we're already wrecking. Circle jerk is around. Hang on, where are you going? Now I'm all of a sudden stupid loose. I've only put down a couple of laps and I can tell you already, I love this place. Send it, oh, I'm gonna send it too deep. I really thought that was gonna be, the, I thought I was gonna clean his clock, man. And it wasn't a Martinsville clock. He was gonna get his bell wrong. Because we're basically racing with bicycle helmets. I kind of... Oh! Oh! Keep it under 45 oh, seconds. Jemike died two hits ago. I sent it a little bit too damn deep into that quarter. Of all the drivers in the mod, he probably would have been the last one I would have chosen to have won a race. I also wouldn't have envisioned Brody Kostecki jumping out of the pits and sending me into a bus stop today. A whole lot of things happened that I didn't see coming. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Thank you all so very much for watching. I love you. every single last one of you. Thank you to Rolo75 again. Shout out to them. Schemes look fantastic on these cars. It was really a great, uh, great idea. So I'm done. I'll see you guys in the next video that I do. Go on,